So I've sat here with the soap girls for John Murphy TV. I don't know them very well, so I'm going to ask them their names. Your name is? Millie! And I'm me. Hello. Hey, what's up? Me. You're yeah, five names each. Yeah. Oh, Billy and me. There yeah. we go. Better than they or them. Billy <laughs> yeah. or me. Oh, well, don't yeah. worry about anything No, no, no. But I, I, I think you should be able to have your own opinion, yeah. so. Yeah, you'd be Billy or me or me or Billy. Anyway, um, Eminem. So, when did the soap girl start then? Oh. 2004. Yeah. Because but I've seen some videos of your live stuff. But I'm talking about when we started out, we used to street perform and, and sell soap street for charity. Oh, you were in street Yeah, when you were kids. No, 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 street performing. Oh, street, yeah. yeah that's where the online. Because I've watched a few of your videos, I thought you said street. No, 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 no. no, no. When, I apologize. No, no, no. Street performance. <laughs> no, street performance. Like when we were kids, we'd sell soap for charity. Yeah, we take baskets of soap oh, and then like street perform. Yeah, yeah that's very interesting. And since 2004, we've been known as. 2004, you started performing on the street. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you've worked your way up. And you're doing very well. Oh, thank so, you. To my next question. <laughs> Excuse my coughing, you might have to hit my back. What? I so, I've got shit to do. Oh. What? It's rolling, Sam. Mm -hmm. It's rolling. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, when you were street performing, what, yeah. were, were you both instruments or just voices? No, just voices. Yeah. yeah so we'd, we'd put on skits and entertain people because yeah. we were just kids. We were like eight and nine and we, we wanted people to um, buy our soap because we were used. We were some. Busking on the street at eight or nine. Eight yeah. or nine, yeah. Well, your mum must have been there, or your dad. Our mom, our mom didn't initially like it because she was like, it's unsafe. But we wanted to do something good for charity. So when we were kids, we wanted to be Girl yeah, Scouts. Yeah, yeah. So she, she supported us. She always, did, always, yeah. 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 Mom, but always. And we would go on to tourist buses and end up singing and, and singing in people. different languages for people. Yeah, because you're born in France, is that yeah. right? Grew up in South Africa. Yes. That's an odd connection. Britain and South Africa, you see a bit. Why France to South Africa? Um, basically, our mom escaped with us from a bad marriage situation. Oh, right. so yeah. We went she has roots in South Africa. Because you know, you've grown up very creative, but it's not the most Definitely. creative of countries, is it? South Africa. It's a little bit. Is it high rock? No, 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 South, South Africa. Africa is so creative. Yeah, it's creative. Oh, oh, no, it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. No, but Imagine. necessity breeds creativity. And so, like, there's a lot of issues. I think people have to think Big outside issues. the box. Yeah. yeah, like in South Africa, if there's no electricity, people still make a plan. Or let's say, like, a mic stand or something doesn't but work. But people know how to look out to their sound. And, stuff. and they, know to, to, yeah. they know how to think on their feet very quickly. Is it better since apart apartheid ended? Of course. Yeah. Obviously, it's yeah. tough to say yes. But I mean, is it uh, actually a better country at 100%? We, well, we were too young. People, we weren't like born people. in apartheid and we never lived in it. So but I think any time where people are oppressed, any time where people are oppressed, it's not going to be a good time. So no. I think, like, it for me, any time where people are free, uh, that is a step forward. Because it's a better country for everyone. Well, of course, yeah, you yeah. can't have. But like, the only thing oppression. is, it's unfortunate. But if you look at a lot of countries, even England is the same. Like, there's oh, corruption so in the government so everywhere. We've learned in the, the last few years really strongly that politicians lie their head off. Yeah, really but the, the only difference with South Africa is, and Africa really, is that it's more blatant. Like, the corruption is more blatant. Whereas here, it's like hidden under the carpet. Well, not not really anymore. Well, they they don't care. The yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just great statesmen. You know, you had a great statesman to go into the Rainbow right State, as didn't you? But we, we weren't around in those times. How old were you then? 28. I'm turning 28. How long is it since Nelson Mandela walked out of South Africa? 1994. 1994. You were born when? 98. Four years after. And I didn't live in there at that time, so no. Oh, yeah. We were in France. We didn't experience apartheid, but I, I, no, I, I do know, yeah. I do know that any form of like where oppression is not good, yeah. Is so there still oppression there? Then it must be. There's no, there. actually, around the whole world, there's socio-economic oppression. It doesn't matter your skin color, it doesn't matter your gender. Yeah. However, if you have money, you're free. So it's the same in South Africa. It doesn't matter your skin color. If you've got money, you can do what you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's true. You you were busking, so then you got you find some musicians. Did you find them or did they find you? No, we are the musicians. Yeah. We yeah. played bass and guitar. Yeah, you, yeah, you said you were just using. Yeah. When we were kids, and then as time went on, so we, we were singing, and then a, a man with the studio he approached us, and he was like, "Have you ever thought of like doing recording what what you do, or like doing some songs?" And we were like, "Okay, uh, okay yeah, that sounds cool." Yeah, so we sure. went to a studio, and we worked at different studios, like recording different songs and stuff. Obviously, they weren't very good initially, but like the more you do something, the more familiar yeah, you get. Yeah, same with everything. Every rehearsal, every rehearsal was a good one. Exactly. 
And uh, uh, one of the songs that we recorded, uh, an A and R guy from Universal Records, he heard it and he went to the meet us. He was like, "Well, I'm thinking of signing you, maybe." And to us, that was a, a major the biggest dream. dream. Yeah, that's Universal. Like, oh. Universal one. Yeah. yeah. And so we were like, "Fuck, that's so cool!" Like, did they? Yeah. They signed us, but it was a nightmare because with record labels, we're very a, creative people, so it's not cool to have yourself in a golden cage, but with your weight. They tried to limit you. Like, yeah, they wanted. Yeah. They had a certain image for us and a look and sound, yeah, and, and that wasn't what we. Yeah, yeah. So it was a You're very image conscious, that's for sure. Your sisters, right? We're yeah, sisters. yeah. Me. I, I was right. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> People so always think you're yeah, old. I thought you were twins. Ah. So we we like eleven months apart. We're close. close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're eleven months years. apart. So her birthday was April, mine's May. Yeah, so there's not much more time, is there? No, our mum went to twins, so. Yeah. Brilliant, you're almost twins. Only 11 months. Yeah. So, where was the first gig then? Oh, the first gig that Like, international. The first gig with the musicians. Oh, God, that's in South Africa. Was um, it? Yeah, I think it was in Stellenbosch, probably. Yeah, Stellenbosch yeah. at this, like, underground place. Where's that? Johannesburg? No, no Cape Town. Town. Yeah, yeah, we're all yeah. students on that. It was a yeah. lot of fun. Is that which is the best area for music in South Africa? It's quite tricky to say, like Johannesburg has a bigger live scene, but it's not as easy as touring the UK or Europe or America. It's not, it's the, not same. the same no kind of thing, yeah. The town a of times. But probably it's anywhere with town, students. Johannesburg is very modern. But if you play for students and that, it's always a good time. Yeah, yeah so near yeah, universities and that, yeah. yeah. But we don't play in South Africa because our... Whatever? No, because <laughs> we, we, <laughs> the government does not like us now. Because no, because of what we say. We speak out against a lot of injustices and things and that we see. And if you speak out against the government in South Africa, it's not so a... So your words, not your actions. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah. So you, you're, you're still quite political then? 100%. Anti-political. Yeah. Anti-political. Yeah. Anti-political. Anti-political. Yeah. Anti yeah. Anti yeah. yeah. In this country, we feel like there isn't a party for us people that feel a certain way. Either yeah. person that you vote for, either party, they're kind of the same thing. At the they're moment. all the same They're thing. exactly the yeah. same. Yeah. They all shake One hands the and they go eat at the same Different dinner. Different side of the same coin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. So, how long from the first gig to you release your first record then? Do you mean when we went well, independent? I don't know what, okay, that so yeah. we we actually when we were with the record label, we did quite a few albums. Probably did a demo or something. No, 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 no we did a few. Albums, yeah. yeah, independent and, though. And a single. Yeah. Yeah. But that's independent. Yeah. I said so, downstairs I could only read up to breathe and E. Is it breather? Breathe, yeah. yeah. Breathes. Breathe. breathe. <laughs> I was looking at the last. Oh, just breathe. <laughs> just breathe. I thought I could see an E under the thing that was talking about. No, no, no. Breathe. Ah, breathe. Yeah. A good title, yeah. So, so. Anyway, sorry. That was during COVID, yeah. Yeah. Breathe. Yeah. Breathe. yeah. Breathe. yeah. yeah. So, so, let me try to think. So, from. The first show to the when we were with the record label, that's different. We always counted only from when we went independent. So, so with the record label, we did. We, like we actually didn't have an album to tour with until we start. We went out on tour in 2015. So we had music, but we'd never recorded did, it. We recorded our first album in two days, 16 hours. To come out on tour because we had nothing. Songs. 16 first, songs in, in two, two days. days. Yeah. yeah. You know how slow it is in the studio, don't you? Already, this is already been there. Um, this, these first gigs then, were they at the, the auspices of the rental company? No. No, no, no. They never did shit for they us. They were blacklisted. Like gigging, and they were like no, we were blacklisted. Because, because, because we told them studio. to go fuck themselves. Oh, then they, so it was around that. It's yeah. very early that you said we're out. Yeah. yeah. Well, it took us four years to get out the contract. Because they had us in a contract and it's yeah. unfortunate like when you, when you're uh, like young and, and I want to say, naive. not stupid, but naive. No, you're not worldly, you don't know. They just shoot little journeys on the road. And you think, oh, record label, oh my god, this is the dream. You but don't even read every word, do you? No. You're really excited about the whole thing. Because they get you yeah. in the fine print. They're universal, they're going to pay you decent wages. And but they didn't. No, 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 no. We were so poor and so broke when, that happened, when we were with the record yeah. label. No. It's really hard to make money. So you forged your own uh, furrow, you ploughed your own furrow. Yeah. How is that now going? And so when you broke away, and you're very, you're very showy. I don't know to say, you know, you're, you're really good looking girls. So you, well, you, you play that card. I you think, I think you've got to own who you are. Wow, I've only seen you on video before. 
Yeah. I think you've got to earn who you are. For me, I love interesting artists, so I would have gone to see David Bowie, and I've seen Kiss, and I, I love people, Sue, 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 Sue. I, would, I love people who are flamboyant. And I don't really want to watch someone in jeans and a t-shirt. Oh, and off the wall a bit as well. And you will get that. The music is adventurous. Yeah, exactly. It should be art and like expressive, but also I think for us, it, we, we could have done it like very easy and said, okay, cool, let's wear leather and like um, mm -hmm. buckle like rocket chips and, yeah. and like uh, shave our head and have tattoos everywhere, and then people would accept us more easily. Yeah, because when it you, is true. Yeah. When you are, um, like, even you said, we're good looking or whatever, thank you very much. Not everyone says that, but <laughs> thank you very much. But um, a lot of people, they think that, oh, that's all that you rely on. Yeah, and right. then it's harder, to, you have I to prove God, yourself I wasn't more. Ask you whether you so, work, no, 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 no. Yeah, so, substance so you have to you have to prove yourself more in a lot of ways so a lot of people think oh they just relax actually it's harder to if you breaking through into yeah, hell so yeah. you have you're just, you're just right to play your cards music is hard uh, hard furrow to plow as i've already said but yeah. you've got to play your cards and people want to show don't they, they want but we're to show. just passionate we, yeah. we love to do what we would want to watch on a stage so these four albums none of them are universal they're no, all your independent, independent yeah. albums independent. so what have you got your own label no all we do, we just tour, save up and prepare make, for the next tour, make our outfits and record and then do it again. So yeah. out of the four albums, is there a track that your audience most... Uh, uh, Resonates with? Yeah. Society's that, 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 Rejects, they, yeah. What's it called? Society's Rejects. Society's Rejects. It's like an anthem for people that don't yeah, that's the, fit that's in. That's the word I was looking yeah, for. Yeah. What's your crowd's anthem? Yeah. Society's Rejects. But it's yeah. tricky because each album is different. There's such a wide variety. It's difficult to say, oh, we're just punk or pop punk and then you can't say that and then there's some grunge tracks, hard rock, it's, it's weird. Like a mix. Alternative yeah. rock. How is it going? So you've got four gone. How is it, what, which way is your creativity going now? Oh, more balls to the walls. Like, I think the more that you turn, the yeah, more experience like, no, no, like you're going even crazier. Yeah, so when, you're going more off like, the she wall. Loves, yeah. She loves more like uh, metal and like heavier kind so of music, different things. and I prefer more like melodic kind of... Yes, you both are getting in there, so you've got yeah. that Slipknot thing, because like they yeah. do it too. Not Slipknot, no, 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 you're yeah, not like Slipknot, yeah. don't get me wrong. Well, we'll have a look. They're, I dig them, I fucking on. dig them, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. So, has it always been just touring, or do you, did, 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 at first you must have just an individual gigs we're going to play. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, all Africa. You built it up, so how quick did it start to get the momentum? So we would do shows in South Africa when we could, but there were always underground shows. Um, like obviously not at any mainstream place, just like underground student things. And then when we came to England, then we, we took. From yeah. 2015, we just took. But you're but, taking off, I would check your, the YouTube today, streaming two months ago. You've now got three and a half thousand views just for that. That's two months ago, right? I know that doesn't sound like but that's a lot for a live bit of streaming. You know what the crazy thing is when other people film our gigs, they get like over a million views. He's done here, he's got <laughs> two point nine million. <laughs> what the fuck? And we're like, what the fuck? Just <laughs> a little old pub gig. Uh, yes, that's that's to your credit. The momentum's really strong. I think probably well, you're gonna you. be we, we oh, like to have you. our own cult following, like where people that think for themselves. Yeah, I know cult's a weird kind of thing to say, but where people are all about freedom and standing up for what they believe in. Well, now is, you're in the position to influence, so you're Oh, I just hope to remind people that I think more and more important. Also, especially now, like even we if you. Sam, don't worry, we'll even I'll do one more question, we round off. Even <laughs> if you walk around the streets and you and you look in people's faces, like people are so. It's almost like they're lost. Can I, can I just there's say. There's so much things going into. Can I say yeah, another thing? And so many people are all. killing themselves and they're so unhappy and people are not connected anymore. Not. So for, for me, for us, uh, being able to play music and you, you'll see people or whatever, like they'll be shy or whatever and then afterwards they're like, wow, thank you so much, like you, you made me think about something. And that to me is like, that's the biggest gift that you can have as Absolutely. a musician. Also, I do, I do think like, for instance, when you ask about a party at sea, the reason why I don't like answering things, of course, a world where there's freedom is better, but there's actual atrocities happening right now. If you knew, like in Colombia, they have social cleansing. So street kids and prostitutes and people who are homeless, kids who've run away from home, Random they get, no, they get killed. So they, yeah, live, they, live, the in the, yeah. they live under the, um, yeah, the sewers, that, yeah. and cops and, and politicians are in on it. They don't give a fuck. That is insane. That, that to me is yeah. fucked up. So I, like, I only like to speak about things that are like current. The, the, 
apartheid, th th that is atrocious. Any kind of segregation, we are not for that. Any intolerance, but I just think to only focus on the past without thinking right now, Absolutely. there are so many well, issues. Let's right now. You're saying that's happening in Colombia right now. Street kids being shot and prostitutes. Any people without money, socioeconomic yeah, injustice is yeah. right there. You're in the wrong spot, you're going to get a bullet. You're fucked. Today on, this isn't about bullets, but today on the A2 in London, we've got this one, the major route through, through London, it's in depth for South East London. There's a guy right in the middle of the pavement, it's quite a wide bit of the pavement, like from the edge of there to your sofa, uh, to the back of the sofa. He's in a wheelchair, he's, he's asleep like this. Yes. He's dropped a, bo a bottle of wine on the floor, a big puddle, and only the bottle's come off the bottle, so the bottle's between his neck. He's got one leg, right, he's, tight. he's got an old traction box on his tight up there, and he's got sores, on, sores all over his face and everything, and he's asleep. And I'm trying to say, don't you think maybe this bloke needs a bit of help? I'm trying to ask him, does he want to be pushed to the side? And I've yeah. never got a reaction. And other people would kind of, we'll leave it to you. Uh, See, this is involved. the problem. Yeah. People don't want to speak but out. But I, I didn't want to call, say, 999 or whatever. I'd probably just bring some about him. I did see him hours later doing the same thing without the broken bottle on the other side of the road. And this time he had a can. <laughs> Well, I mean, if ever there was a geese that needed reaching out to... Mm -hmm. But you see, I think you, it's important to have that attitude of caring for other people. It sometimes because empathy is, a, is I something... I didn't do as much as I'd like to. Yeah. I, I, you know, I but at least you, you at thought least, about it. And also you saw and really you noticed. Yeah. Yeah. When people don't notice, that's when there's a problem. Because I think empathy is something that's becoming more and more like filtered out and sure. out of people. Yeah. Yeah. And I, oh, yeah, it's got it. Look where we're going. She wants me to round off, John. Like, oh shit! I um, always, when I do these things to John for his TV, tell us uh, something about the Japanese tour. How did it go? Oh, oh love it. Japan's, oh, yeah. Japan's oh, they've got, they're literally doing their last. Song. Oh shit! Okay, so, so one, one last thing. We we absolutely love Japan. It was probably um, the most magical country we've ever been to so far. We it's love the culture, we love the people. And also because it's completely different to any other country. Yeah. They have such an appreciation and love of rock music. It's, it's unbelievable. And so clean. It's so it's so so and stuff. Yeah. It was yeah. cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I can't imagine. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what you ask. You're playing uh, Rockfest in America, aren't you? Yes. Wisconsin Rockfest. Yeah. Very excited. Mm. A couple of big names there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Some of our favorite bands are playing there, like In This Moment, Guo, um, Papa Roach, um, Highly Suspect. Suicide that, yeah. Silence, yeah, we're super excited to see them. I heard of one of them. Ah. Yeah, it was Papa Roach. I was going to say Papa Roach, yeah. <laughs> and Suburbia, is it Suburbia tomorrow night? Yes, is yes, in Southampton. Southampton. What's after that then? Uh, we, we're getting we're getting all the stuff ready and then we've got shows like afterwards non-stop. You go on to Europe then? No, finish the UK, then next month we go to America for a month straight. Come back to the UK, then go to Europe, then Japan, then America, then UK, then yeah. How long is that going to take? Uh, till the end of November. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of traveling. Yeah. Guys, oh, oh, yeah. 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 last question was this: How have you already doing it? So how long now to the to world domination? Oh, oh. as long as it, it takes. Yeah. Yeah. As long yeah. as it takes. We don't even think about it. We just no, want to do our music, create yeah. happiness, yeah. and hope, yeah. and rock on. Yeah. I've got the answer. We nearly there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very fucking much. Thank you very fucking much, man.